Immerse yourself in the profound insights offered by Father Chuck Belmonte as he delves into daily reflections on various gospel passages from the Bible. April 11th, Thursday. In the Mass, the risen Christ is present among us. Jesus promised the apostles, I am with you all days, even unto the consummation of the world, and fulfilled that promise. The disciples loved being with Jesus, talking to him, enjoying his presence. Consider, for instance, what happened one morning after the Lord's resurrection. The disciples had returned to their usual occupations, and that morning they were on Lake Tiberias. After a whole night of fishing, they were coming back empty-handed. Jesus was standing on the shore though the disciples did not realize that it was him. A short while later, at the bidding of Jesus, they turned their boat around, threw out their nets again, and caught so many fish that they could not haul them in. Then, immediately, the disciples recognized Jesus. We can see in this miraculous draft of fish an allusion to the church. She is compared to an unbreakable fishing net that becomes a divine and most effective instrument when she obeys Christ's words. Upon reaching the shore, the disciples found Jesus beside a charcoal fire with fish cooking on it. Jesus invited them, come and have breakfast. He then took the bread and gave it to them, and the same with the fish. That was not a Eucharistic celebration, of course, but it was a moment of intimacy for the Lord and his friends. That moment somehow reminds us of the Eucharist. There, Christ makes us feel his presence in an ineffable way. His love becomes especially evident. The risen Christ is present among us. Fishers of men, offering us his friendship, his abiding love. This love sustains our fraternity and makes us apostolically fruitful. When I was a child, frequent communion was still not a widespread practice. I remember how people used to prepare to go to communion. Everything had to be just right, body and soul. The best clothes, hair well combed. Even physical cleanliness was important maybe even a few drops of cologne. These were manifestations of love, full of finesse and refinement, on the part of manly souls who knew how to repay love with love. As you attend Mass, you will learn to deepen your friendship with each one of the three divine persons, the Father who begets the Son, the Son begotten by the Father, the Holy Spirit who proceeds from the Father and the Son. When we approach any one of the divine persons, we approach the one God. And when we come close to all three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, again we come into the presence of the one true God. Love the Mass, my children. Love the Mass. And be hungry to receive our Lord in communion although you may be cold inside, although your emotions may not correspond to your desires. Receive communion with faith, with hope, with burning charity. Let us ask Our Lady to teach us to live each day's Mass with the sentiments of humility and adoration with which she received her Son, Jesus Christ. I would be delighted to extend an invitation to you once again tomorrow for another insightful reflection on the gospel by Father Belmonte.